if you are feeling saucy like me, clap your hands. Yay! Have you been having fun? I really hope you've been having fun. Are you alright? Talk to me at white 54 Facebook at white 54 channel Twitter. Hashtag is Y in the morning. My name uh, since the beginning of the show is still Valentine. Where you can find me at Kalamiva. And we are discussing with our kings today the value of a degree. And of course it was sparked or inspired by a young gentleman who was making headlines a couple of days ago and he graduated with first class honors or you know just excellence and he found himself in a bit of a bind where he could not find work but it has a happy ending now he has job offers to throw away he's rolling in job offers but what about the person who does not have the same opportunities what about the people who cannot afford to you know tell their story on mainstream media let's discuss tell me though white five on facebook at white five four channel on twitter hashtag is white in the morning oh you're already talking to me all right let's do that but let's say hi to our panelists first how are you me I'm fine oh i like that yeah i was waiting for the uh, okay. where do we start from hi sir what is your good name okay my official name is seth mm -hmm. Okay, my <laughs> official name is Seth, Seth uh -huh. Richards. Uh -huh. uh, then I'm an artist, mm -hmm. I'm a student, mm -hmm. I'm also a model. Mm -hmm. Where can we yeah. find you on social media? Okay, on social media you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, mm -hmm. at Shan Kilshizi. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Shizi. Yeah. Hi, Queen. I want to finish with you as well. I'm starting to the king's first. Okay, Buddha, Rada, and the after this. Ah, I'm going to I'm going to go I'm I'm a comedian, I'm a hype master, I'm an MC, and above all, I'm a child of God. Yes. Yeah. My mm. social media handles are Voke underscore Buddha underscore Voke underscore Bazenga on Instagram, mm -hmm. on Twitter Voke Buddha, on Facebook Kevin Orinda. Mm -hmm. yes. Queen, how are you feeling about your two panelists? They look nice. <laughs> They're mm. between me. Uh, <laughs> have you told her she looks nice, guys? Yeah. Yeah, you have. Have you? She's also looking amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the first thing. Yeah. First, your hearings, uh, we'll talk after this. Oh, thank yeah. Thank you. What's your good name? My name is Nina Mudibo, mm -hmm. and um, I'm a student mm -hmm. at Kenya Coast National Polytechnic. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you study? And actually, I'm studying media. Mm -hmm. So in the right place. Mm -hmm. yeah, Where true. do we get you on social media? Uh, on Facebook, I'm Nina, Nina Mudibo. Mm -hmm. That's where you can get me. Only on Facebook? You don't like the gram or Twitter? Oh. Uh, Still been chatting. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Nothing but a thing. So I hear you guys are talking to us already on at Facebook. Eh, at white five four on Facebook, at white five four channel Twitter. Hashtag is what in the morning. So the question is, uh, do you think your degree is useless or do, is there really a value to your degree? And by degree, I mean you go to school, eh, university or college or whatever, and then get a certificate at the end. Is it valuable still? at this point in time. We have Byron Oko says, education is the heartbeat of enlightenment. Thus, mm, watch any clear's throat. Education is the heartbeat of enlightenment. Thus, it can't be useless at any level. Knowledge acquired and the skills put one at a given position that can enable him or her to think outside the box. Well, what we lack in Kenya is standard competency levels to enable qualified candidates to get jobs in what they are suitable at. We witness a rotten locust system full of tribalism, nepotism, favoritism, and clanism that are very detrimental to the purpose of education. We well, Menda Shule, I can see you. Sophie Rose is always present. Nowadays, it depends with your luck. Me, I never concentrate on school since there is no job after all. God has the plan for everyone's life. Wow, that's deep. All right, so Sophie Rose still says again, I, I do think that school equips us with skills, not just certificates. That's why I had another choice but to go to school. And what do you think about talent? I want to be... Ha! <laughs> I want to be like me. Aww. Okay, Joseph Boyo says, Sincerely speaking, nowadays, degrees at most have no values. It depends on how lucky you are. 
and uh, Joseph again says hard work but you must be lucky without luck even your hard work will lead you to nothing at all Weh. what on the down wow blessed Mary Lynn says the only they only have value if you have connections. Otherwise, after graduation, you will have to put your certificate aside and become a hustler too bad. El Senior says it depends on the people you connect with. After college, you need to have people who you can connect, who can connect you with other people, or you need to have money to corrupt people. Eh, not your corruption. People for you to get a job even after spending thousands in college. And El Senior says again, uh, Y254, arguably, uh -huh. That <laughs> corruption is a requirement, lol. Iman James. Good morning, Iman James. Says most of them wakisha graduate, they think that what ajiriwa mara hiyo hiyo, watume hiyo pesa kwanzisha biashara. Wow. That, that Dale's Wycliffe's, in this current Kenya, lazima utie mkono mfuko kupata kazi. Tukupamoja, kutoka kisi. Dominic Angere says, watching kakamega. We, we, we. Hey, hui. We said, <laughs> hey, I might need assistance on that one. But thank you so very much. Do not be afraid. Do not be shy. You are not too late. You can still comment. White 5 on Facebook at White 5 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is white in the morning. Do you feel that a degree is useless? Uh, on the other hand, a degree is useful. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, a degree is useless. Mm -hmm. You know, just like Eman James has said, mm -hmm. Lapman you can use to start up on Jashara. Mm -hmm. Kuna say okay, what you know so manga to degree on a pelican zaz. Mm -hmm. Degree in a pelican to mzazi on a two quest, you school fees you see. Mm -hmm. So that means you can start up a uh, business through making mandazis in the estate mm -hmm. and make money. Instead of kuka home, mm -hmm. umetama kine robi, mepita muy avenue, tomboya, when I get to kit after job. See. Oh, one generation here. <laughs> Kuna mimi flani ati venye mademu ringa squeeze nika in the future kutai kwa na mama mboga. Mm, like kila mtu wana <laughs> ringa. Maze. So as much as yes, I applaud what you're saying and uh, it's very practical. You know, kwa unatama kuna kazi ya ikam. Si ufanye tu kitu ingine ya puji keep keep. But mtambia nini watu. Mm? Ati alikuwa usiu. University, mm -hmm. University of CG who say at him my pasua kwa barabara. No, not a bali kweli. Just tell me the truth, sir. No, mm-hmm. Ata kubali. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tasa atafaya nini. Juana tafta kazi. Ame soma. Sele ambewa some ya pita ya pate kazi. Mm -hmm. Ame soma kapita. Iyo kupata kazi tunauliza nani? Okay. Na iza sema. Kupata job after your school. It is just more or less the same as Bahati. Hmm. Yeah. Na ina depend na oe mwenyewe. Ok, miti nyaneza sema, kamu kuna degree, it depends like umesomea kwa sudani. Mm -hmm. Like me, I take civil engineering. Mm -hmm. So if there are so many civil engineers in Kenya, mm -hmm. but what will make me get that job with my degree is how I do things. Mm -hmm. I must do things differently from other engineers. Mm -hmm. That is when I will get that opportunity. What do you what? Ku engineer kiviangu, like I have uh -huh. my personal skills. Uh -huh. Una ujanja wako uh -huh. Yeah. Give me a for example. <laughs> okay, when it comes to the practical work, uh -huh. you can find that kuna mtu amesomea si wote tuko na degree. But kuna mtu atafanya kitu ama achore plan ya nyumba very uniquely. Kiviake tu. Mm -hmm. That is a personal skill. Mm -hmm. Outside Kenya Lifundishwa Shuleni. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have very many things to say about that, but first you tell me, please. Yeah, for me, mm. there's more to a degree mm -hmm. for you to beat unemployment. Mm -hmm. So you get that you have to work extra hard. Mm -hmm. uh, once you get the degree, you have to be exposed. Have engage in a lot of training, mm -hmm. partaking the course you are you are working on mm -hmm. and from there you can get exposed and mm -hmm. come out in a different way because we i learned that most of what we learn in class are basically theoretical mm -hmm. so when you go out there you are expected by your employer mm -hmm. to do the best mm -hmm. to work as you've trained not as what you have on your papers mm -hmm. so there is more to that degree mm -hmm. than just a mere certificate mm -hmm. I like the way you're saying Mia, mm -hmm. but shule uh, sisi tumesoma aki, sisi tumefanya exam. Mbona mkumbuki vile nilikuwa mnasikia usikia uchungu, uchungu wa kufanya exam. Ya, yeah, unaweza pata hata degree mm -hmm. lakini mm -hmm. ukitoka hapo nje hata utajulikana mm -hmm. because of that 
ujui ujui ku, kufanya kitu fulani mm-hmm. because you are not exposed and you don't know how to do things mm-hmm. so kuna vile unaweza pata degree mm-hmm. kutoka hapo then you don't know what next mm-hmm. yeah okay we have a couple of questions coming in Dennis Mafula from Busia says i think the high population is to blame wewe sasa umetoa waluya wapi? Ati waluya tunazaa sana, watoto wanakosa kazi. What is this? I'm Marcelo na tukarongai degree ni honor na status to na heshimiwa village lakini Nairobi na Teseka. And this is actually something very legit. Like I've had mm-hmm. someone telling me that the moment I graduated, watu wa reserve wote walikuwa wanajua sasa mashida zimeisha. See, it does not have employment yet. Please I beg. Ni ku graduate tu ame graduate. Bora tu watu wa reserve wame Graduate. Mm. So akona a de- degree, mm. he has papers, pesa. pesa. And I kid you not, not a day passes. Happy give you simu, eh man say, kuna venye si tuko pabaya, or yeah. my children are not. He has nothing to do with his children or mm. whoever's children. It's just that they are close-knit community and he is the first degree holder. As Africans, tunasefa, tunafa kusaidia na ajia kita. As Africans, me, what I can say, mm. uh, I can support what uh, the deputy president said the other day. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, co- what people go to campuses, they finish their degrees, mm-hmm. they do masters up to PhD, mm-hmm. and they're still not getting jobs. So uh, the deputy president said that while out of technical universities, mm-hmm. like in a technical university of Mombasa, mm-hmm. the University of Kenya, mm-hmm. they are skilled. Mm-hmm. So maybe maybe catering and accommodation, maybe just like Seth has said. Mm-hmm. Uh, civil engineering, they are skilled. Mm-hmm. Sao toko skilled, mm-hmm. wanna get job direct. Mm-hmm. They get a treatment direct and they get job because they are skilled. But sao watu nyo kuna degree unapata wana, wana, wana ikuwa kando. Mm-hmm. Baku unapata mtu. The other day at Uru Aiwe, somebody wrote everything. My name is Nini, I've done this. Hako kwa barabara in the and street kwa jama. And that's the first time I've seen that, yeah. Uh, kwa jama, nataka. Kila, eh, kila mtu wanaendesha gari na mwangali ya zile za, eh. So, so I'm at after job up to that point, you mm-hmm. see. It's very, it's very, very bad. You want to say something? Yeah, actually, I want to second him because mm. in 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 this life, we get that most people who are employed mm-hmm. are those who have degrees, and those who are employing the mm-hmm. others mm-hmm. are those who went with C's mm-hmm. are in technical univer- uh, technical institutes, mm-hmm. those who are exposed, those who have skills. You see, so. In my own opinion, I'll, I'll prefer that most uh, those who are doing degrees they get skills, mm-hmm. they get training, so that they get exposed in this thing, mm-hmm. in this field. Yeah. What is this exposure that you keep talking about? Ni hustle, like she is trying to say, mm. you be more skilled on the practical things. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, for instance, I'm a civil engineer. Mm-hmm. So on the field work, mm-hmm. I should be perfect. Mm-hmm. On the theory work, I should, uh, I should also be pa- perfect mm-hmm. for me to fit in the society, mm-hmm. for me to fit in what I, wa- I want to do. In that even if I, uh, uh, I get a job one day, I can do it to my perfection. Mm-hmm. And I can do it in that if you see me work somewhere, you'll feel like you should em- employ me in your company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is also a way of Ota marketing tamak. myself. <laughs> yeah, out of Tamak. So even when you get interest in what you get interested in, then you get to learn a lot of things on the theory and practical. So such a person always does a job whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe degree is very important. It is very important. Th- there is a gentleman who was trending a couple of days ago. He started making candles out of some some wax that mm. ukiasha candle mosquito. yes mm. enough kuza mosquito so sasa inaanza kupunguza stray malaria mm. na nauza one stick at 50 shillings mm. Mm. and if you sell a, a couple of those in one day see at least sapa iko unatoa poko kama mboga teketeke unga hiyo fo ju sana sana yenye usumba watu ni njas ndio ama ni tuna slay i hope we're not complaining because we cannot afford makeup to slay but if that's why you're complaining, also tell me at White Five on Facebook, at White Five Channel on Twitter. Let's start with the first slide. So we came up with a, a couple of expectations, and these expectations were from people who have, who have either just graduated 
or have graduated a while back, na bado wana face these struggles to mali to work or whether they're employed or they're the unemployed. So the first expectation is job offers and recruitment will be in the numbers. Yani tu nenda tuna tuma CV unapata yes we want you. Hmm? We will have the, to throw away some offers that are beneath us. Kwanza hapo usha jiambia you from a very prestigious school. Hmm? Hmm? Usha ingia shule zingine hata ku kuingia tu kwa gate ni shida at because it's such an important establishment and then you finish and then now they want you to start sweeping somewhere ama kazi yako itakuwa maybe getting people coffee yes the first slide i have read out so maybe you can tell me what you feel about it let's start with you queen mm -hmm. for me uh, i will say that um, basically it's all about being skilled mm -hmm. in this field mm -hmm. so when we get those skills we are able to perfect ourselves and mm -hmm. come out different from the rest mm -hmm. because there's a lot of competition out there so for you to be unique you have to come with what you, kn you know you're perfect on mm -hmm. but for instance there's in this field of journalism mm -hmm. there is editing there is presentation mm -hmm. there is a lot of production pro part mm -hmm. and uh, there is also how you prevent uh, TV and uh, mm -hmm. radio. Mm -hmm. So from those skills you, you are going to embark on, you'll be able to know where are you perfect? Mm -hmm. Where can you perfect better? Mm -hmm. Where can you become out unique from the rest, mm -hmm. you see? So that's how it goes, yeah. But what happens, okay, fine, let's say you found your niche. Let's say Valentine is a spectacular communi com communicatist. <laughs> <laughs> Communicator, wow. Uh -huh. So I, I have a gift. Let's say I have a gift, you know. mm -hmm. But what happens before Atakablani, I have that opportunity to show employer, ah, I am the one you are looking for. Huh? How many years do you think people have to wait? How many excellent and I say excellent journalists have volunteered for three years? Volunteer as in another job, unamona kwa TV ata perhaps but hali for years and years on end before they actually land this actual job that mm -hmm. actually pays them what they feel they deserve after all those years of studying. Ata kabla ujitoa unique, ata kabla usha penda vitu zako, kabla tu you have the chance to, I don't even know, to blow the market even before. Where do you get the, the, the energy? Where do you get the heart to keep moving on? Somebody like Bonokode is a radio host. Um, it's a good example. Some of the local radio stations in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. uh, just like you said, I'll go to him to a year to Pale, Kinambusi Den, Akina Majimaji, or Kamuana Kambia. I can let Pasavia too. Years in end, years in end, mm -hmm. and he became a presenter nowadays. Mm -hmm. He's a very big presenter on radio. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what would you like to? I want you to tell them that it's it's not that easy. Okay, it's not that easy, but uh -huh. come up on your certificate, yako, your degree, yako, uh, <laughs> diploma, yako, uh -huh. diploma one, two, uh -huh. usi, usi, tupe, uh -huh. way yake tu. You, you, you just do what you're good at. Uh -huh. If you're good at singing, if you're good at modeling, continue doing that, that thing what you do. Uh -huh. But you should network. The moment uh -huh. you meet somebody, mwambi, you've done this and this. Siku moja tu mungu atakone kanya, uhitua, na upewe job. Hey, ulifanya nini? I have, I have a diploma in this and this, mm -hmm. or I have a degree in something and something. I get a job here. Mama, well, just do your best. You never know who's watching you or who's mm -hmm. listening to mm -hmm. you. You just yeah. never know at any point or any time of the day. At the next one. So we have graduate expectation number two. The starting salary will be satisfactory. So some to a makeup on of Kiria. Okay. Mimi Veni Mesoma Kulingana na says Yango. I'm expecting no less than between thirty to sixty thousand shillings. That means Pesa za watu wa reserve ziko, za rent na kujina Kujina is due mpaka urudishe mwili eh asanti. Mm -hmm. You gotta say thank mm -hmm. you to the body. So what happens ukipata first of all your volunteering, would you be willing to volunteer? That even you nakapo up as I mm will volunteer for the next six months. That means you will have to pay for the money that you have to pay Yeah, I will. You because will. I know after that, mm -hmm. I'll get something. So I just have to persevere. I just have to uh, just go as per their own. Mm -hmm. But at the end, I get to be somewhere that I was yearning to be before. Mm -hmm. So, in every, in every step that we make, Lazima tupatana challenges. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
tuzikuwe na haraka mm. one like mi nisha graduate mm. ni kuna degree ni kuna like have certificates have the, the papers it is, not, it is it is not all about the papers mm -hmm. it is what you present you know, no. mm -hmm. so the moment ume bend low ukapasavia then you get to know what you want in life mm -hmm. like you just aim at something you you set your own target then you work very hard towards it you will always achieve what you want mm -hmm. even if it takes 20 years but at the end utachieve chenye unataka so mtu kama mimi I'm a model ni wachache wanajua mimi ni msanii. Mhm. Mm Usanii nime nimeanza karibu because of finance but mm -hmm. modeling nianza kitambo. Mm -hmm. So unapata watu wanajua kama model. So mimi mwenyewe ni kiluzo mm -hmm. in what I'm known for mm -hmm. best known for. Utapata na napoteza na, na chances mingi. Mhm. Mm Naona. Na mimi tu nisipo nikijipa ni moyo because you can go to an event mm -hmm. you don't get paid. But in Nikiji Pamoyo, mm. say, this thing I, I can do it. Mm. Na by the end, I achieve what Chenya Nataka. Mm -hmm. With those ups and downs, at one given time, I will be able So, I will say, degree is an idea. Mm -hmm. Then, degree P is an idea that you have to do it. Because to some companies, you have to do it like. Uko uko migori, sijika ma uko Nairobi wako. Mm -hmm. Unapata mtu, wale walisoma kitambu wakafika kila seven. Unaona, ya na papers. Na pia hameajiriwa. Na hepi ndi anawapa ana, ana wengine kazi hapu. So, kikuja, when there is a vacancy, what announce? Una play papers nini? So, the moment they see, this guy kuna degree. Mm -hmm. ata, ata kuwa like, eh? Hey, Nikimpa uki jana chance, ata kuja kuni overtax kumoje. Na mita, ntakosa ku, ku, kupata ah. venye, na, 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 na ji, like, napata unga yangu, na cheki. Mm -hmm. eh, so, watu pewa na ufia. Mm -hmm. Nikupe job, next time nikose. No, mm -hmm. I rather take somebody wa, mm -hmm. wa chini. So, in happen uko uko nyo. Siji kama uko Nairobi, does it happen here in Nairobi? I'm, I'm <laughs> telling my, my chest. My yeah, so, chest. So, uko kuna, kuna kuwa na watu kama hao. Ni wadoz, oh, yes. Oy. But, hawa kusoma. Oi. Oh, hawa kusoma. Oh. So, hawa na papers. Ani wadozi manze, they, 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 mm -hmm. wakona magari zingine ya wazimu sana. But, ukikuja kwa play job, pina kwa ngu. That is first thing I can say. Wee. So I'm not trying to discourage you when uh -huh. to work outside like uko kwa nyumbani na uko na degree. Mimi mm. nitakwambia knock every door with your degree. Mm -hmm. Struggle. Struggle. That is what you you you, 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 had, you had passion in. Mm -hmm. That is what you chenye uli uli, uli kuna omba bana ukisoma umalize Mungu akupe job. Mm -hmm. Work towards what you want. Mm -hmm. Utaipata. Yeah. I Amen. cannot add or take away from that. What we're going to do instead, we're going to show you a short clip. Uh -huh. I want to describe it, but I also want you to see for yourself. So check this out. Well, oftentimes business education today, and I see it all the time, kids come out of college, the best colleges, Wharton and Harvard and Stanford and some of the great business schools. and they'll come out and they won't have practical experience. There's too many case studies that aren't practical. You know, we ask uh, kids that are 16 to 18 years old to make $100,000 debt decisions when they go off to university. And they're not prepared for that. They don't know what they're getting themselves into. They just assume, okay, I'm gonna pay four years of education at 25,000 a pop, and when I come out the other side, somehow I'll be able to pay it back. Right. That's not how life works anymore. There's no need even to have a college degree oh, okay. at all. Uh, or even yeah. high school. The, the, um, I mean, if somebody graduated from a great university, that may be an, indi that may be an indication that they will be capable of great things, but mm -hmm. it's not necessarily the case. Um, you know, if you look at, um, say, people like uh, Bill Gates, or Larry Ellison, Steve Jobs, these guys didn't graduate from college. Oh, Jobs, yeah. But if yeah. you had a chance yeah. to hire them, of course, that would be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think having the flexibility to explore a lot of different things, which you can do when you're in college, which is one of the amazing things about being in college, is you can work on all these hobbies um, and, and, and code a lot of stuff and, and try a lot of different things. It's this amazing flexibility that I think most people take for granted. And once you decide, okay, I'm going to start a company and start a company and I'm going to do it with someone else, you immediately now need to convince someone else if you want to change your mind on something. And I, I think people really undervalue the option value and flexibility. I, I think explore what you want to do before committing is really like the, the key thing. And keep yourself flexible. Um, and no, I think that that's... I, mean, I agree. It, yeah. 
I mean, it's actually kind of funny. Like, like um, you know, if you think of like, what is education? Like, you're basically downloading data and algorithms into your brain, and it's it's, it's actually amazingly bad in conventional education because like it shouldn't be like this huge chore. Um, you know, someone standing up there kind of like I apologize, Kamaru Sungwe Likwa Mingi. But basically what they were trying to say is in their own way is be flexible. They gave mm -hmm. a couple of examples of very high profile guys who have made it without necessarily having a traditional education, like going to primary school, high school, finishing university. Kuna wanyalianza waka drop out, kuna wanyaku attempt at all. But they basically say you should be flexible. Can I, I should have started with this. Disclaimer, Valentine thinks that knowledge is important. In fact, that's the one thing no one can take away from you. They can take everything else, but they can't take what you know. So it, it's important to invest on things that you know. Are we in agreement? Are we yeah, in? not only knowledge, but skills too. Yeah, they can't take that yeah. away from you. So it's, it's a good thing. To, it's more than any house or anything that you can buy that they can actually take and say it's theirs. Mm -hmm. Not just at a on, on, on the same flexibility that we just seen in that video, mm -hmm. I will advise each and every person that is watching or now getting to watch us from home that it mm -hmm. is very important, it mm -hmm. is very, very important for a person to be flexible. Mm -hmm. Like me, you see I do three things. So how will you, like, Unachukua technical, a, tec a very technical course, mm -hmm. una model, mm -hmm. bado ni msani, unafanya ngoma video ni. Mm -hmm. It is very good to be flexible. Mm -hmm. How would you penye your success it, it will come from? Now, with equal flexible, if you don't work hard, mm -hmm. you must just work hard, tirelessly hard mm -hmm. in these things that you're doing. Sababu, ukifocus kwa kitu moja, niseme, mm -hmm. mimi mwenyewe, ni focus kwa masomo peke. Then, Niendele vizuri ni 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 pata ku ni ni ku graduate mm. the way everybody every student is really yearning to graduate by the end. Mm -hmm. I graduate then because a job. Apo nuta pata na izako amui zini ni because by that time mm. ndakuwa na taka do na yo yo umri manzo ezi nda kwa mzaya tu na mumba do una check. Mm. So ita pata like hey. una 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 yani you you th you will be thinking hard mm. rather than blaming yourself for not, not doing something mm -hmm. outside your education. Uzapata ndo watu nyumbani we are being advised that anza ta na kuku, ukiwa nyumbani ukiwa village, mm -hmm. anza na kuku, mm -hmm. kama badu na somo ukiwa high school. Mm -hmm. Peso na popo ketumani kuku tu. Uki, ukifika form 4 hapo, utapata like, umenunua ndama. Mm -hmm. With that kuku lianzia form 1. Mm -hmm. So, besides kusoma kwako, ukona some something back at home yina kusaidia so by the time utakuwa graduate mm -hmm. you can imagine utakuwa nini nyumbani i think on yeah. that note of working hard that the, the slide just before this one was on experience you graduate and then you start uh, you start applying for jobs and then you apply for jobs and then the first mandate is it here we go there will be minimal what you expect is you won't be asked for experience will be minimal to no prior experience needed in the field of study because you feel okay you've been studying this for whatever number of years three four five six so you won't see because you're going to be trained on the job Sindo, mm -hmm. you're going they're going to employ you and they tell you okay this is how it works then they hold your hand they even mentor you and all these things and suddenly Life is not like that. They want five years experience. Mm -hmm. What do you do? How do you handle that? Queen or your mother's son? Mm -hmm. For me, uh, when I get uh, such an experience, I would prefer that um, first I go to, I get exposed. Because mm -hmm. one thing, I can't be based on one thing because that in, uh, you may apply for job, a mm -hmm. ningoje, then like, there, they, they need an ex uh, someone who is experienced for six years. Mm -hmm. So for me to to first uh, apply for that job, mm -hmm. I should have gone for a number of certain jobs mm -hmm. that are connected to what I'm, I'm, I'm actually applying for. Mm -hmm. So that whenever I'm, I, I want to apply, I should have a lot of, mm. you know, something to show that I've done. Is it wisdom then to say that while you're still on campus or whatever level of study that you are in, that you should actually start, like he said, 
think I'd rather work smart than work hard, but I think it feels like the same thing. So, kablo graduate yani kama kizungu ni more excuse me kablo graduate uko chance of finding it uko chance okay you know I do this if I do communication if I do media if I'm an engineer I I know what I like I know what I'm good at so let me start venturing into these things let me start volunteering so by the time I forget me to graduate maze to kuna kitu yakusema so yeah in fact I used to do this mm -hmm. does that count as experience so now they they have little to no reason not to hire you isn't it yeah so for instance as mm. for me um I, I, i'm currently doing pursuing my diploma in journalism and i have i've actually um written a lot of articles in magazines and uh, i've also I, i'm also engaged in uh, coast week magazine where i write from so for me to actually finish my diploma course and actually apply for the job I'll have a lot of a lot of um, experience and something to show that actually I've done some articles and I've, they have been published and I've actually engaged with other colleagues in media mm -hmm. and I've written a number of articles with their Coast magazine. Mm -hmm. So yeah you have you have to have something to do in, in short ukwetu na kierere sawa eh ukisikia kuna form huko is kwetu all the time wamlambezo wa mnyonyezi let's <laughs> kierere meaningful yeah yes, Kere, yes <laughs> what you said yes ya ujipeleke tu maze usikia ah that people need to do volunteer ah, volunteer mimi i'll do it i will mm. do it and i will do it for free usikie tu chungu kidogo ha it's okay then mm. you do it and then ta da here comes the experience yeah. in fact yeah. you, you won't even have to look far for the job the job will come looking for you na nani huko agatu hapo nani ufanya hiyo kazi poa hivyo ati anaitwa nani anafanya gani ni sumu iteko ofisi yangu manzi haraka haraka even for. before that mm. if you go for attachment mm. then hapo ndo sasa watu tutaanza kukuona mm. there is a I'm same i don't know i'm not good in kiswahili but mm. wanasemanga kizuri cha jiuza ama kizuri <laughs> nini <laughs> okay so if you're doing good uh -huh. you really sell uh -huh. outside so ukenda attachment hapo ndo nilikuwa nakwambia in the practical work ukenda for attachment then manager ama the workmate ama fundi mwenye mweko wa mkononi mwake haoni unafanya hiyo kitu differently from wale wengine mm. he will spot you my friend after you, you're done with your course I want to assure you that out akosa job if you knock that door and okay. kuna place unataka like experience ya 6 years nini utaanzia tu hapo so hapo ndo inaanza okay hapo ndo ina, ina come like you persevere then you work hard then you work differently from others mm. chochote chochote like anything that you're going to do do it differently then you do it very nicely yeah that will make you sell na itapata uki graduate then now you be looking for job mm -hmm. uta, uta, utaanzia wale wenye ulikuwa mkononi mwao by the time ulikuwa attachment you'll be calling them unaombea ah nisha graduate nini so if there is a vacancy ni, you can call me obvious ata ataongea na manager na manager pate alisha spot that good good thing in you that hard work Mm -hmm. that determination in whatever you're doing mm -hmm. atakupea kazi mm -hmm. all right yeah. okay could you take the next slide have you ever missed a job opportunity due to lack of connection apo kwanza ka connection finance sexual favors <laughs> or you are yet to qualify academically i personally as valentine i have missed a job opportunity because i was overqualified i i was in shock what do you mean Yeah. That is okay. I am of course you can be overqualified mm -hmm. and at the same time you can be underqualified. Mm -hmm. And then kuna jobs who come alafu naambiwa ati eh niaje itabidi unipige tau tano ndio nikujenge hiyo. Mhm. Sasa was kama hiyo. Kama that uncle who tells you eh ama huo uncle mwenye uko ambaye ah unaenda ku graduate ukishamaliza hivi tafute nipigie. Wewe hapo unabaki hapo una job. Same to same to ladies. Unapata dem amesha nini? ndio agetio job anaambiwa eh songo na mwambia you, you know you are really looking good you have to give me something in return so that you get this Go does it stop. happen to guys ushaisikia mwanaume anaambiwa eh twende chemba kwanza but fikire kazi ya job kweli yeah rare cases rare cases yeah. ah. then sisi sisi pia wanaume oh my gosh cuz you're a model <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, we are running out of time, but I want to thank you for taking this journey with us. Again, you can find us at White 54 on Facebook, at White 254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is White in the morning. So, Xavier Mulaku and I went out here on these streets and got a couple of videos of people who have an opinion as well to uh, how valuable is your degree. Should I just... We should just say bye, Maravat, so that we just play the videos, okay? We go live Monday through Friday, 7 through 10 a.m. Sauce, sauce, sauce. Every day is different. Tomorrow is money making. Today was man crush, stroke politics, stroke health. But now I want you to see something. Wait, let's wave. Let's ask we wave and let them they see. <laughs> also a PhD student here at Nairobi University. Um, the question was whether a degree is relevant. I think it's very relevant and there's a lot of information out there that it is not relevant as far as getting a job is concerned. But I think it is because in the world we are living in, it is key to have an, a background in education. Whether you're doing business, it will still be an added advantage if you have some schooling as far as business is concerned. So those who are taking on a degree program, I would encourage them to go ahead. Uh, and even in the world, in the job market, competence is key. And even as you undertake your degree program, get a niche in your area of specialization. Get a certain skill that would add another advantage as far as competition in the job market is concerned. So I think it is relevant. And those who are undertaking it, push on to the highest limits. Amen. Hey. <laughs>